सब्सक्राइब नाउ एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन नेवर मिस एन अपडेट इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव लर्न हाउ टू डू एचटीटीपी गेट कॉल इन एंगुलर नाउ वी विल लर्न हाउ टू डू एचटीटीपी डिलीट कॉल इन एंगुलर सो लेट मी राइट इट फर्स्ट नाउ वी विल डिलीट और डू द एचटीटीपी डिलीट कॉल इन एंगुलर for that we will be using the same api that we have used earlier for getting the all the products and this is the api that we will be using and you can see the delete method is there and the api is having slash id that is the product id as you can see there is a warning that the product is not will not be deleted in the database but you will get the data that you have deleted So in order to check the data ID, let me console dot log data that we are getting as a fetch. Let me create one method that is delete product, and this we will add in our template. So let me create one button. So button let it call delete, and on click of this button, we should call this function that is delete product. So on click. will be calling this function that is delete product so let me copy paste it here and add the parenthesis let's see if the changes so now in order to like uh, do this delete what we need to do is so first of all we will like uh, go to this common service and let me create the function that is get delete product and we will write return this dot http dot delete as we are doing delete this dot base url plus as we are expecting id of that product so we will write id here id should be of type number but for now i am just writing any and let slash plus id so this is how we are matching the base url that we want as per our api so slash then id now let's go to our console and check the data that we are going to delete will be having some id so how this is written it here so as you can see it is written as id number 1 then id number 2 and id number 8 so on so this is how like uh, we should be getting the id so let's create in the delete product this dot serve uh i guess i need to change the name oh yeah delete products so now it is fixed right now so this dot serve delete products then this should be needed pass to id dot subscribe data of type any and this is this data will be the like response from this api so we should be getting the data of the product that we are going to delete as in as instructed in our api right so let me call the delete button as you can see we have the data of that particular product with id as we have already seen that it will return you the fake deleted product only so this is how like it's working let try once more so here id is 4 so in order to take the confirmation let me console the id that we are getting when i click on this delete product button so console.log id let me pass one string id so that we can uh, get confirmation that that we have this is the id and let me write console.log that product has been deleted product deleted kind of thing so this will like uh, confirm us that product has been deleted and in response we are getting data that is the data of that particular product so when i press the delete button as you can see we have id3 and in response we are getting the data of id3 so this is how like we can do the delete call in http in angular using http if you like this video please subscribe our channel thank you